Welcome back in the Roma Gambit with today's recipe, Ayam Pangang, a tasty and spicy Indonesian chicken recipe. And we're going to do this recipe on skewers, so you can easily do it on your barbecue as well. And boys, let's get started. First we're going to prepare our marinade and we're going to ground some spices. We got two Japanese peppercorns or long camper peppercorns, two cloves, half a tablespoon of cumin seeds, a tablespoon of coriander seeds, a teaspoon of fenugreek, a teaspoon of timur berries or timut berries. We're going to ground this into powder. And here you go, the ginger, the garlic, chopped very fine, cilantro, about six tablespoons of vegetable oil, six tablespoons of light soy sauce, the grated ginger and garlic, chopped cilantro, and our ground spices, a tablespoon of sugar, a good pinch of salt, just mix it up a little bit. We're gonna cut our chicken into nice chunks. It all depends uh, uh, the size you want on your skewers. And we're going to put our chicken in the marinade. Let's keep on stirring until everything is nicely coated. We're going to let it marinate at least one hour. You can also do it the day before to let it marinate overnight. About half a liter of water. Add the tamarind paste. Bring it to the boiling point and let it simmer until the paste is nicely dissolved in the water. Once you think you get enough uh, concentration of the tamarind, kill the heat and filter and here you go. First we're going to blend the ingredients that we're going to stir fry. The onion, the garlic, the galango root, turmeric root, ginger root, just leave the skin on and the coriander. Pour a little bit of tamarind juice on them so it's easier to blend. Now we're going to blend the, the rest of the ingredients. The pineapple, orange with the skin, lemon with the skin, Celery, add some tamarind juice to make it more easy for blending. Take a large frying pan or a wok, half a cup of vegetable oil, medium heat. Now if you've never done this, open the windows of your kitchen because the least I can say is the smell of frying shrimp paste is not going to make you happy. But as bad as it smells, as flavorful it is in all your dishes. So if you want to get rid of bad neighbors, this is the trick. The onion and the garlic paste, put some more heat and we're going to fry our paste for a few minutes. After five minutes, add the orange and lemon paste, the sweet soy sauce, dark soy sauce, tomato paste, the rest of the tamarind juice, mix it all up. The palm sugar, add a little bit of coffee lime zest. Not too much because it's very fragrant. You see, that's enough. A good teaspoon of salt. We're gonna let it simmer slowly for one hour. One bell pepper, 
cut the, the little bits or the skewers. Red onion. Pour some oil in your oven plate. We're going to make our skewers. There we go. So you can do these uh, on your barbecue and if you want to do them in, in the oven, heat up your oven up to 200 degrees, turn on the ventilator if you've got one and bake them for 15 to 20 minutes, it all depends on the sizes of the meat you got. Let's make some uh, quick and easy noodles with this. Put a cube of uh, wonton soup rot in one and a half a litre of water. And it's a go for the noodles. There we go. A little bit of cilantro and celery leaves. And the top of the top, my friends, are homemade Sichuan chili oil. Of course the recipe is on my channel. This is going to give it a boost you can't imagine. Ajampangang, here we go. Believe me, it is very tasty. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bon appétit, my gourmet friends. I'll see you back soon.